Hey guys, Matt with Tips for Truckers over here. Just doing a quick video. This is a, a quick tip that a lot of people don't don't know about, and uh, it's not frequent that this happens. But if this happens to you, you're gonna know what to do from now on. This video is about trailers that are dog wagging, and now what that means, just real quick, is when okay, this is a trailer, this is a tractor, okay. And that's when the trailer tracks to the right or to the left. So when the truck's going straight, the trailer is going down the road at an angle like that. Now, that looks a little exaggerated, but a lot of times it's not. Uh, you'll, often, you'll often see uh, container uh, trailers that are dog-legging. And those container trailers just <laughs> usually, usually a mess, man. But... If your trailer is dog wagging, here's a couple tips on what to do. First of all, first of all, just drive slower. Okay, you know, now drive an appropriate speed, but don't drive uh, too fast because what happens is most of the time the axles are not uh, straight; they're not even, and so what they're actually doing is that while the tire's rotating, it's almost skidding on the on the concrete so one tire is going to be spinning faster than than the tire on this side be, they're traveling different lengths uh, but the same same rotation same rotational speed but anyway so you're going to build up a lot of heat in your tires and heat is what destroys tires it wears them like i said you're actually wearing the tire when you're dog wagging, but there's nothing you can do about it until the trailer gets aligned. And, but when you're building up heat, you risk the tire exploding. You know, a lot of people say, oh, tire explodes when it has too much pressure, when it has little, too little pressure. In reality, the number one thing that makes tires explode is heat. So try and slow down. And I mentioned it, Make sure you get that trailer aligned as quick as you can. Try to try to only haul it when it's empty if your trailer is dog wagging. Get it to a shop right away, diagnose it. But, like I said, this is not a perfect world. This is why I make these videos, because you're not always going to have everything right, right at your fingertips when you need it. So if you have to haul a trailer that's dog wagging, also, Here's the biggest thing. If your axles slide, move your axles all the way to the back. Now I know you're saying, Matt, why is that? It's because first of all, it push the, takes the weight off the axles that are dog legging, puts the axles on your uh, weight on your drive, drive axles. Which, like I said, your, your, rear, your rear axles that are dog legging are gonna build up more heat, take some pressure out of that, put it on the drives they can handle it greater next th but the other thing about moving your axles all the way to the back is when it dog legs it is not going to be as at great of an angle if you have your axles here it's going to be at more of an angle and you see what happens there if you have your axles here it, it's going to dog leg at this angle but and let's see, this is this is the angle of your axle. But if you move them back, your trailer is not going to be at as severe of an angle. You might be able to keep it inside your lane. Now, honestly, if if it can't fit in a lane, you you need to get it worked on right away. I would suggest just getting it towed. To be honest with you, um, if you ever put a trailer on a low boy, a lot of times you got to empty out the bags and deflate the tires, but let the professional truck driver, tow truck driver handle that. But I'm trying to think if there's if there's anything else you got. Oh, another thing, if you have an, <clears throat> let's say an axle that has a bad bearing or something and you have to haul it back to the shop, they take the wheels off or you got an axle that's bent bad enough. They may just take the wheel, you might just want to get a mechanic or, or the shop may tell you to take the wheels off, slide the axles all the way to the back of the trailer and just haul it to the shop as best you can. 
Um, well, like I said, also, if you, if you just have any problem with your axle and you only ha have are able to run one axle, slide it all the way to the back. Uh, if you if you have any problems with your axles, it's not just dog legging uh, because because it's it's just going to help it track better. It's going to take weight off of it. If you have problems with your airbags in the rear, slide your axles all the way back. Uh, that's, that's that's just the main takeaway here. Uh, if you, if your trailer's dog legging, slide slide your axles to the back. If you can't slide your axles. Try to drive slower. Uh, you know, avoid biting the curb when you're making turns. And uh, I think that about wraps it up. There's not much you could do about a dog legged trailer aside from getting it aligned uh, properly. So try not to haul stuff in it when it's loaded. And that's about all you could do. Good luck. It's Matt with Tis for Truckers. Hey, I've been in this situation before. That's why I make these videos.